hey guys so i wanted to come back on here and do a quick review of how i do my skincare i did a little impromptu video before this but i thought i might come back on and just give you the quick steps without going through them um uh especially for the over 40 because i'm over 40 how i keep my skin this clear and how i take care of my skin okay my morning routine is different than my night routine we don't need to do the eight or nine step processes that i see or steps that i see done on many of these youtube videos i get it it's fun we love products but for those of you who are really truly struggling possibly you probably need to scale back so if you find if you're finding that those eight or nine steps are only irritating your skin more or causing more acne or blemishes, I just wanted to come on here and speak to you. Now, I do not do that and I am over 40 and I know many of you are younger, much younger. So I just wanted to share a couple of my secrets. Now, I will be sharing some more facials, some masks, some steaming, but on this video, I just wanted to give you some tips, okay? so. If you do a full routine at night, you do not necessarily need to do a full routine in the morning. I don't care what anyone says. Majority of the time, if I do a thorough cleansing at night and I'm talking where I do a cleanse and I put on a toner or serum or treatment and a nighttime moisturizer, in the morning, isn't my skin good? Hasn't it gone through regenerating and all that good stuff at night? I sleep on silk pillows. So why do I need to then repeat that same process or steps in the morning? Doesn't it make sense? Make sense, you guys? Scale back. I have normal to dry skin, but sometimes um, after my 40s, I tend to have, uh, I just have to listen to what my skin is asking of me. So that's a tip. Number one, listen to what your skin is asking of you. Sometimes I need oil and sometimes I just leave it the heck alone. Literally, that's what I'm coming on here to say. Leave your skin alone. It will tell you what you need. So in the morning, my favorite thing to do, I love the way I look when I first wake up. So that's because I did a great job at night, right? Hopey, hopefully, look at Hopi. where did I get that word? Hopefully you guys have gotten your rest. Like sleep is very important to me. Water is very important to me, but I am not one who eats completely healthy all the time. So I, it'll show up in my skin if I don't sleep. It'll show up in my skin if I go overboard with junk food. Like I love pastries, fresh, fresh bakery um, items. I love, you know, every now and then French fries. Oh my God, I love that pizza so i'm not coming from a person that's 100 percent healthy i do love greens though i do love vegetables i do eat raw sometimes but i also can get down on a bag of m and peanuts and all of that stuff or chips i'm not really a chip person but i do like pastries um and i love pizza so just know that it's coming from a person um that cheats a little bit a lot um, but I do take care of myself for the majority of the time, okay? So, I do drink a lot of water. Mm-hmm. I'm doing that now, but I will get some Starbucks in me. So, <laughs> again, first things first, drink your water, get some rest. Please really try to get your rest, okay? The next thing is when you wake up upon waking, do drink water, do not go for juice, nothing. Try to drink water or have tea, some green tea or whatever, ginger tea, something to wake up your system, something warm. Uh, if not, just do some water with lemon, sprinkle a little cayenne pepper, that's a great start. But in the morning, I literally just come in and wash my face with cool water and I tell you, my skin loves it and um, it doesn't want too much oils or i mean too much uh cleansing and too much uh nine step products on it you know and sometimes literally i will just rinse it with cool water and rub some aloe uh leaf all over my skin let it dry walk around the house and maybe i'll just rinse it off a little bit before i put on like a toner in the daytime i usually like to include a niacinamide or hyaluronic acid um, and then 
I will then put on as far as moisturizer. I love oils. I love essential oils. You'll see in other videos that I use a lot of essential oils. So again, I will go in after I wash my, my face with cool water. Um, I do not let it dry. I do go right in and spritz some toner on. So that's another important thing. Don't let it dry before you put any product on. Keep the skin damp. Um, so after you put your toner on, then you want to go in and apply your oil or, mo or as a moisturizer. Um, like I said, I love jojoba. I love sweet almond oil. I love grapeseed oil. I love, is it squalene, squalene oil? I love rosehip. I, I can go on. I think I should do a video on that. I probably will. But I love all of that. It's, it, my skin loves it. It's summertime. So I also love a quick shea butter or a mango butter. Those work as moisturizers. So when I say scale back, if you if you're finding that the products are irritating you because it's chemically laden or with with perfumes or whatever it is, just go back to the basics, and you will see a difference. You know what I mean? So at night, you know, do your 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 your, your full routine. But in the daytime, just rinse off with some cool water, spritz on your toner, follow up with your hyaluronic acid or niacinamide, and then um, shea butter. I'm telling you, has all the nutri all the stuff in it, or your favorite moisturizer, um, and then you should see a difference. And I love aloe. You can, I love aloe vera. Period. Um, that's all you should do. Now. Weekly, you can then apply your mask, your masks, um, or your, uh, you know, and I do exfoliate. I forgot to say that. I do exfoliate twice a week. I do. Um, so please do exfoliate. Um, and you can actually exfoliate more than once a week. Again, I do it. I just do what my skin needs. So that's what I'm on here to tell you. Scale back and you might see a bigger a, a bigger difference um, in your skincare. I mean, in your skin. Um, what else can I offer you? I did the water, we did the water, we did all that. Let me see what else can I offer you. Oh, almost forgot, at night. Please include vitamin C. Those of you who are working with hyperpigmentation, include some vitamin C serum. The purer, the better. Um, you will find that your skin will love you. I will do a couple of videos um, for hyperpigmentation because those are those are, are more serious. So you probably need to treat that uh, more often. And if you love mask, I mean, you can do. I love potatoes. I love tomatoes. I love uh, yogurt masks. I love um, seaweed mask. I love charcoal mask. I do love those, but try to do those at least once a week, or the bentonite clay, everybody knows that. So once a week, do a mask. Um, but during the week, the rest of the days, just give your skin a break, let it breathe, except at night when it needs to regenerate and rejuvenate and, you know, um, in the daytime, don't go so, don't do so much. Um, right now, again, I just finished washing and cleansing, so I, you do see oil on my face, um, and, and and that's all I need. If you feel like it's too oily after you rub it and massage it in, massage it in well, and then pat it off, you know. And also make sure that your hands are clean before you go in digging onto your face with all these products. Make sure your hands, you wash your hands first and then start your, your your routine, okay? So again, steam once a week. You only need to do 10 minutes to get it, to get your skin ready to absorb the products. Mask, you can do two times a week. Exfoliation, you can, I mean, mask once a week. Exfoliating twice a week. Um, I do use the brush. Um, so you can use one of these little brushes. Again, it's just, and don't press so don't dig into your skin it's already spinning so just let it do what it needs to do just let it spin i've already cleaned my face but you get it i just wanted to show you again it's that simple please you guys scale back and then let me know tell me what you've done to scale and make sure you don't go to sleep with makeup on everybody already knows that everyone says it on here on youtube i'm just gonna reiterate it I love you guys and just hit me up and tell me what you want me to go and duck with and I will. Alrighty, 
So have a great day. Drink your water. Get your exercise. I cheat so much sometimes. Bye, you guys.